Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back. My name is Steve and this is my boy Honey. This bottle has won a lot of awards in 2022. Whether it's on the internet or on YouTube, they're raving about this bottle, this Larceny Barrel Proof uh, Batch C922. So we'll take a little sip of this today. I'll share my thoughts on whether it's worth all that hype and all the awards that it's gotten in 2022. And it's lunchtime, so we'll. I got some Blaze Pizza. Open it up. Got the half. Um, simple pie, which is a cheese pizza, and uh, I created my own pizza on the other half. So we'll have it together and uh, we'll have a good old time. Um, just sip in whiskey and having pizza. All right. First, the whiskey, as always. So, Larceny, uh, this burr proof whiskey, is a bourbon. It's batch C922. So, those people who are not too familiar with uh, Larceny barrel proof. They come out with a couple batches every year. Actually, not more than a couple batches. I think they come out with three batches throughout the year. They have A batch, B batch, and a C batch. For whatever reason, in 2022, a lot of people start saying, hey, this is the bottle to get. So, got my hands on this bottle. Let's try it right now, and then see what's what. This Larceny is 126 proof and 63.3% alcohol. The mash bill is around 60% corn and 20% wheat and 10% malt and barley. So let's go for the nose first. You get cherry, it's like a maraschino cherry right off the bat. And I can smell the, the barrel proof, the ethanol burning my nostrils. It's very pleasant. The nose is, is strong but pleasant. And it has a vanilla scent coming through. Like a toasted, something toasted, like a toasted pop tart. Uh, that's what I'm thinking of. All right, let's go for the taste. Cheers, everybody. Ooh. It's rich. Ooh, it's rich. It's buttery. And butter, melted butter in my mouth. Another sip. Ooh, it's pretty strong too. I like it. The palate reminds me of like, like maple syrup over pancake, but it's like you soak the pancake with the maple syrup. You just sort of left the pancake out with maple syrup on the syrup on top. So it's absorbed all that mapley, sugary thickness in there. And you take a bite out of that pancake. It's very similar to this. Mm. It's delicious, it's delicious. Cherry note is coming through. From the from the nose to the palate, like a, a reminiscent of a little bit of cherry cola taste. Again, it's real buttery, real rich, all around my mouth. It's like it's like sort of like honey, just coating my mouth. The finish is pretty good. It's moderately long. It's not the longest, I think. Finish wise, I think Elijah Craig Barrel Proof might be better, but. It's good, it's satisfactory. I'm not gonna complain. Yeah. It has a little bit of oakiness at the end. Slight oak, like a toasted oak. Yeah, the cherry cola, the cherry is is the main character here, I think. It's the main protagonist. Real rich and thick and, and buttery, like real buttery. It doesn't drink like like a 63% barrel proof at all. It, um, I would say it drinks more 50-ish, 55-ish. Has a little bit of burn, but it's not. It's not unpleasant, and it's not overly powering. It's not like I'm fighting the burn to get the flavors out. The, all the flavors are right in, in front and center. The cherry cola taste is there. The maple syrup pancake taste is there. The oak is is, is definitely there. The honey note. Ooh, a lot of honey. 
I do have a lot of honey now, like a thick honey is there. And all, all sorts of flavors coming through. Multi-pronged palate. It's very good. It's very good. I've had the Larceny Bearproof Batch B. It has similar notes, but I think this is much better for whatever reason. You know, a lot of people compare this to Elijah Craig, the Barrel Proof, which is good. But I think it's the better comparison is actually the Weller, the Barrel Proof, the Weed Ever. Because that one is weeded. It has, you know, I think like 10 or 15% of wheat. And this all, this one also is made out of 20% of wheat. So that's a better comparison uh, if you're gonna compare apples with apples. You know, if I'm trying to think of what Weller Barrel Proof tastes like, I feel like this one is better. I feel like this one is more multifaceted. It has more levels of flavor, more nose, maybe equal amount of finish. But yeah, it's, it's delicious. Whatever they did on the C922 is, is definitely spot on. It's it's changed the game a little bit for at least the Larceny brand line. There's so many flavors in there, especially for 50 something dollar barrel pool uh, bourbon it's 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 an all-day zipper for sure a no-brainer let's try the pizza Whew. drinking too much on an empty stomach all right i have a half of simple pie which is the chief pizza and the other half is ham uh, a canadian ham uh, pineapple olives, uh, mushrooms, and that's it. I know it's a little bit weird, but my kid loves this combination of pizza. Let's go for the cheese pizza first. Who doesn't like a fresh blaze pizza? It's always good. Mm. I think this one costed the make your own pizza. It's like $14 now, 13 and change. I think during the pandemic, it was only like nine something or beginning of the pandemic. It was $9 for the make your own. Now it's like $13. And a lot of prices went up, but I think that's all. That's a pretty steep incline. Pizza and bourbon. Here we go. Let's go for the pineapple, olive, mushroom, ham pizza. I also love that when you get plate pizza, you're in the line to get all the toppings. When you ask for extra, for me, I always I always ask for extra mozzarella cheese. Like they never give you a hard time. They're never like, oh, it's gonna be extra or like they skimp on it. I love how they just pile it on. If you have for extra, you just pile the next, you know, huge clump of it. Just the little things like that. It makes me come back to the establishment. And then I always get it. Well done. If you haven't tried well done at Blaze Pizza, try it if you like a little thin crisp crispiness. It's a little bit toasty at the bottom if you see it. I like it that way. I know some people like a spongy, but it's really good and it's thin and crispy. The mix of pizza and, and whiskey 
It's excellent too. It's pretty good with, like if you put ice in here, make it more like a, you know, drink. Also very good. But the mix of bread, like a toasted bread, the taste of the bourbon, oh man. It goes really well, it pairs really well. All right, well, there you have it, guys. Thanks so much. Parsley Barrel Proof Batch C922. Oh man, it was delicious. It was better than I expected. It has so many flavors in there. So many sweets, the fruits, the, the, the breadiness, nuttiness, all kinds of flavors just popping out. Amazing, amazing. Especially for 50 bucks, $55. Oh man, that, that's that's a steal. If you see it at a supermarket, if you see it at a, I don't know, whatever, a liquor store or whatever, it's a reasonable price, pick it up. I think it's it's a solid buy. You don't have to spend hundreds of dollars on a, you know, Weller foolproof. That's, you know, $200, $300. This one is probably, this bottle is probably almost as good, maybe even better for some people for, you know, half the price, quarter of the price. Absolutely delicious. I think it, they hyped up a lot about this batch at the, at the end of 2022. I think it sort of lives up to it. Yeah, especially for considering all factors, $55, somewhat available, and it's barrel proof. No, oh, it's it's a solid, solid buy. Highly recommend it. Blaze Pizza, yeah, I'm sure you guys know Blaze Pizza, but Try the Blaze Pizza, especially with the pie day coming up. I think it's 314, where they have you know all pizzas for $3.14. Oh, man, that's a that's a great deal if you like pizzas, especially if you like Blaze Pizzas. Pizza and whiskey. I mean, I enjoyed it. It's delicious. That that crunchy breadiness with the toasty, the bourbon taste of it mashed together. Awesome, awesome pairing. There you have it, guys. If you got a chance hit the like button hit the subscribe button comment below let me know what you think about the c922 bottle and the blaze pizza pizza and the whiskey pairing let me know if you tried it out let me know in the comments below so thanks again everybody have a good one i'll catch you on the next one see ya